Hey everyone, welcome to the Codespace YouTube channel. So in this video, we'll see what is XSL transformation in Oracle SOA suite. So the agenda of this video will be first we'll see the basic explanation of XSLT. Then we'll see the key differences when why we need to use uh, assign activity and transform activity. And then we'll see a basic example uh, and we'll create a basic example. We'll test that with the help of transform activity. So let's get started. So first, uh, first you need to know what is XSL. So XSL stands for extendable style sheet language, which is a styling language for XML. Uh, XSLT stands for XSL transformation. Okay, so XSLT stands for XSL, XSL transformation. So in, uh, to learning XSLT, you need to know the XPath as well. So XPath is a major element in XSLT standard, and uh, it is used to navigate the navigate through the elements and also attributes of the XML document. So this is the thing you need to know XPath as well to learn XSLT. Okay, so now let's move ahead. And now let's see the difference between assign and transform activity. So uh, when when we need to use assign and when we need to use transform activity. So assign activity is really used for straight to straight mapping. It cannot be used to do any validation before mapping. So suppose the requirement is that you need to validate uh, with some if if and else condition before assigning that variable to the target variable. Then you can use you can go for transform activity and if you have some state to state mapping then you can go for assign activity and also uh, if you have lots of assignment to do then it is not recommended to use assign activity you can use transform activity there so this is the key difference between this assign and transform activity if you want to know more about this then i'll provide you the reference link into my description please check it out let's move ahead so now we will create a basic exercise uh, so in input side we will pass a uh, string so i'll pass some uh, input string and then in output we'll get this kind of format okay so now let's jump into my vs code i'll show you the exercise so let's go in vs code so now i'm in my vs code now i will create a simple soa project okay in in this application which is test people application so i'll type soa and now I'll select SOA project and I'll give the name as XSLT project. Okay. And now I'll click on next and I'll create a I'll create an empty composite as of now. And then as you can see, our project got created. I have already started my uh, web logic server. Now what we'll do, I'll create one basic schema. Okay, so now click on this, right click on this and uh, go in from gallery and then type XML schema. Okay, so XML schema will be here. As you can see XML schema. So now click on this, click on okay and give some name. So let's say test.xsd and uh, as you can see our schema got created now keep a name as input okay and now uh, click on this co component panel and then uh, drag one sequence here and assign one element to the input so i'll drag element as well so i'll give the name as uh, input or i can say name okay name and i'll keep the uh, format of this as a string so string format sorry string okay so now also we need to add one output element so drag one output element here and then same like we need to add one sequence and also we need to add one element that will be our output element okay so now give, give the name is output okay and same this will be our output string so i'll say output string okay output string i'll give the type as same string okay so i'll give string as a type 
now i'll save this schema say all and uh, yeah that's it now we'll go into our actual project file so now we are in our project file now i will right click on this i will insert one bpal activity and then i'll give the name as xslt xslt bpal process i'll create a synchronous bpal process okay and now i'll select the input and output variable so click on this now click on this as you can see we are having text as xsc click on input variable as an input and now we'll select output variable click on output and now click on okay so as you can see uh, this uh, synchronous process got created now click on this component and type for transform activity before that double click on this bpal activity so now click on this component and search for transform 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 okay i forgot trans as you can see xslt transform it uh, uh, this component is here now click on this and drag between this okay give some name so i'll say uh, transform string okay now double click on this and now select the input and output variable click on that plus button now select the input variable and then now click on this target variable and select the output variable okay so now give some proper name so i'll say transform uh, string dot xsl click on apply and okay so now as you can see our xsl file got created now what we'll do we will assign we'll click on this output string and then right click on this and go for create x path and now we'll use concat function so i'll go in this string and then i'll select concat function okay so now we'll double click on this so now what we want so let's go into our output uh, slide okay so now we want hello and then we want that input variable and then one string okay so now i will just pass one string it will be hello okay hello then i need some space as well so i'll give some space here then i'll select an input variable so that will be name okay so i'll double click on this <coughs> and now i need to add this okay name then i'll uh, add some string here and then i'll say from the code space from the code space okay so now this is fine uh, we will we will have hello then we'll have space then we'll have input variable whatever we will give input then we'll have some space and then we will have the from the code space string okay now click on okay and now also you can uh, test your xsl file so click on this test xslt map and click on this generate source xml file and uh, create click on this uh, sorry click on this show target xml file and uh, then as you can see an input name 12 is given an, an output let's see so as you can see hello name 12 from the code space so if you want to test then you can click on this test and click on this and click on ok uh, and you will get your uh, output in this side okay now what i'll do i'll just deploy my project into my web logic server so click on this now next click on this override any any existing composite and i'll select integrated web logic server click on next and I'll select the default project folder and I'll click on finish so it is uh, getting deployed on my integrated web logic server so it will take some time so let's wait for that
So now click on this deployment. So as you can see, our our project got deployed. So now I will go into my EM console. Uh, as you can see, now I click on this target navigation. So now I click on this SOA and then SOA infra. And then I'll select the SOA folders. So now I'll select this default folder option. And then in this, we will have our deployed composite. So yes, now click on this deployed composites. Here we'll find our deployed composite that is XSLD project. So click on this. Now we'll test this project. So now click on this test. And now go down and click on this payload, expand that. And now we'll pass some string. So let's say passing Raj. Now click on test web service. And as a response, as you can see in output string, we are getting hello Raj from the code space. So this is the output what we expected. Okay. So I hope you understood the, uh, the example. Okay. If you did, please do subscribe to this, uh, uh, my channel, the code space. I'll see you in the next videos till then keep learning, keep watching. Thank you. Bye-bye.